Star Sensations presents... Hi everybody, this is Sandy, and I would like to welcome you to Paranormal Perceptions, which are little bitty videos. One year, about a month before Christmas, I was walking through my living room one day, and I had this green wingback chair, and I saw this little blonde-haired girl sitting in it, and she was about seven years old, and she was a spirit, and when she saw me seeing her, she disappeared. Well, for the next two or three weeks, the little girl was seen quite a few times in, I have a very long hallway, and she was seen in that hallway trying to materialize, but she could only materialize in what I call waves, like one time would be her legs and feet, and then her right shoulder, then maybe her legs, and then maybe a foot, and then her upper torso and then her head, <laughs> and then she would just disappear after these different body parts would show up. Well, my daughter, being it was getting close to the holiday season, my daughter says, why don't we buy her a Christmas present? And I thought, what a good idea, buy presents for ghosts. I knew that this little girl was from the late 1800s, and so a raggedy doll would be more appropriate than a Barbie doll. We went to the Dollar Tree, and I found this really cute little, little rag doll with yarn hair, we brought it home, and the little girl just knew that that was for her. I told her, I said, now it's going to be going under the Christmas tree, but I said, you can't play with it until Christmas morning. And she was just all excited about that. And I also made a tag that says, to the little ghost girl from me and my daughter. Well, we happened to have a party that Christmas Eve. The party, of course, lasted until after midnight. It was about one minute after midnight, and I could see the little girl standing by the Christmas tree. So I said, okay, go ahead, look at your doll. She was all excited, all excited. Oh, she was so excited. So then the following morning, of course, was the holidays, and then the holidays would pass us. I would keep this doll in this wingback chair for her. There would be many nights that I would set the doll sitting upright in the chair, like in the crook of the arm of it, and the next morning the doll would be laying down on its back on the seat. And this went on for a good, oh, six, eight months. And then all of a sudden, I guess the little spirit girl decided to move on. And so now I keep this doll around here for any other spirit child that likes to come and visit us. That was pretty cool, huh? Thank you for joining my Paranormal Perceptions episode. Almost a ghost, Sandy. SPS Productions, Carson City, Nevada.